Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can create your own GIF so that you can place it in your slides, in your websites. It's, it's a lot of fun and it's actually a great tool to reinforce vocabulary or um, you know, some phrases for our language learners. So let's check out what I have for you today. All right, so to begin with, I actually have all the steps here for you. Um, you're gonna have to record a video. So that's the first step. And so you can use your phone, a cell phone, and just simply um, record yourself for about five, 10 seconds. And try, here's a tip, try to record yourself where there isn't too many things in the background, preferably a white wall. All right, and then once you record yourself moving around, doing whatever you wanna do, you just simply send this to your um, laptop or computer and you'll download it from there. Now, if uh, that has is something you've never tried, you could also try emailing your video as well. And if the phone is still not your thing, you want to use something um, else, you can use Screencastify. Here's what I have for you. So Screencastify is a tool that we use in our district. We actually have a paid subscription, so here's one way you can use it. And I have it color coded in yellow. Using these steps will help you to um, get your video recorded. So let me show you today what that would look like. All right. So when you get into Screencastify, you would click here on your little tool at the top, this extension. And instead of choosing either of these two that we usually do if you've recorded videos, you know, I don't want to record um, my, my screen. Um, and I just need a bigger uh, video of myself. So what we want is this right here. It's called a webcam only. If you click on that and hit record, it's going to use up your entire laptop or iPad that you'll be using. I think you can use the iPad. But anyways, it'll just give you a full, um, you can actually manipulate your computer to where you want, how much of your body you want to be recorded. Again, tip, white wall. All right, so now that you have recorded yourself about five, 10 seconds, you can see um, the next steps. And that is where I'm gonna want you to download. You're gonna download your video and you're going to then export it, okay? So again, you download it and make sure I went back again. So I just made that step real clear. You wanna download your video you just recorded, you see? And then you want to export it. Now, when you are exporting that in the animated GIF, because you want to hit that animated GIF in Screencastify, um, make sure that as it's uh, getting ready to download, don't forget to name it. I always um, you know, give it something quick, whether it's happy dance or sad dance or pointer, give it something quick. All right, and so it'll save down to your um um, computer as down here at, the, at this toolbar. That's what I mean about that you'll find it there at the bottom. All right, so now that you are done recording your video, whether you made it on your cell phone or you use Screencastify, this is how you actually remove the background and get yourself into the quick little video movement instead of recording a video video on your uh, presentation. So it's pretty easy. Um, Again, you already have uh, either it's saved here at the bottom or it's saved in your drive because you uh, emailed it to yourself or you sent it directly to your computer. All right, so now we have our video. Let's go to unscreen.com, unscreen.com. All right, this is a pretty cool uh, site. It is free to use. Now all you have to do is just upload a video. Don't search GIF, just do upload a clip. Okay, so you can upload a clip. Now here's the one that I saved um, recently. Um, you'll see that I'm actually moving my sound, I'm dancing, you know, that's the one that I recorded on my cell phone and then I sent it. Um, so you could, you know, use that one and then you just hit done. And now it's preparing your video. Give it a chance. If you, um, you also could have just actually just taken the, um, the video from here and also you could just drag and drop in that 
um, area as well. So now it's preparing. Just give it a couple of seconds. See, it ruined my house. I was even though I was in, uh, in a in my living room with a white background, uh, it still removed anything that I had. So if you don't know where I'm at. So that's the point of this gift. Now all we do, pretty simple, is just download it. Just download it. That's it. It's super easy. Uh, it's going to download as a happy unscreen because it still remembers the name that you have originally placed in there. So, um, and don't, if you if you didn't name it, just have a keen eye and make sure that you can actually see what you're doing in the videos. Okay, so now it's saved here at the bottom. Let's go back to a presentation. So if I want to add my GIF here, I'll simply just drag and drop. It is pretty easy. You can use multiple. Look at this one. I have myself and you know, just just go crazy. Just go crazy. Imagine my mom, my poor mom, oops, excuse me, with quadruplets. That, that would be a lot. That would be a lot. All right, everyone. I hope this was helpful. And enjoy uh, creating your gifts. Show your students how to create them as well. They only have to... Um, Instead of downloading to computer, have them download directly to their Google Drive in their Chromebook. It's pretty simple. I can't wait to see what you've created. Hope this was helpful. Until the next how-to video, see you soon.